my name is Jodie Bunting and welcome to As The Derby here with Derby's Biggest Losers, Claire, Tracy and Kelly. Now this week we have no Biggest Losers, no one has lost weight, so I've made them come here today to As The Derby. I'm going to show them how to shop, the start of nutrition. Also we have a special guest, we have Owen today. Owen, you okay? You ready to shop? Let's go! Okay, now here we are in the fresh aisle, which is the most important bit. And we've got Kelly here, and we're showing the broad beans and the asparagus. I've just been explaining that with carbohydrates, it's not too bad that you don't buy organic because there's not a huge difference. Kelly, what would you normally buy from what we can see in this area? I'd buy the cauliflower, the broccoli, broad beans. Excellent. Um, potatoes, cabbage. I'm not a great lover of asparagus, what you've got in okay, your Okay, I love it, with salmon. <laughs> okay, Claire? I'd buy potatoes, cauliflower, cabbage, uh, Brussels. They're not really in season at the moment, though, but when I can get them, I buy them. More expensive at this time of year. Yeah, but they're nice. I like yeah. Them. Um, I don't eat salad, so I don't buy any salad from here. But right, we'll go and find some alternatives. Okay. Let me just ask Owen at this stage. Owen, what would you like from here? Cabbage? Potatoes. Right, let's go and get your potatoes. Right, now here we are on the fruit aisle, and the dangerous thing about fruit is when you are on a diet, you do kind of buy every fruit going, um, and really you only want to be having a serving in the morning and in the afternoon, nothing really in the evening. Girls, what would we buy from the, the fruit aisle? I Hello. eat most fruits, to be honest, apart from pineapple. Okay, and Claire? Now, fresh pineapple I love. <laughs> With like, cottage cheese? No, just just on its own. <laughs> Cut it up and eat it. Um, grapes I like. Satsumas, bananas. Most Excellent. things actually. Not not exotic fruits though. I'm just like the Right, normal, just plain and boring. Just Good. Fruit. Things like apples, pears, bananas are bang on. But just remember, no more than two portions really per day. Okay? Right, now Tracy's here. I'm just going to put the things in my trolley that I've bought already. Now, what I have bought here is some sweet potatoes for Kelly and Claire because I've never really tried them. So, single sweet potato, lower, um, obviously, in calories and also got that sweet flavour. Now, let me move on to Tracy. Trolley, Tracy's obviously filled up there on fruit and veg. Tracy, with regards to fruit, you need to be careful. What sort of fruit are you eating? Um, just apples, bananas and pears, but we've only been having sort of one a day, cut right down on the fruits. So. Excellent. So you are a protein type, yeah. therefore me and you are quite restricted on our fruit. Yeah. So, right, happy shopping. Okay. Off they go. Right, girls, let's talk bagged salad. So this whole ray, this whole thing is full of bagged salad. Tracy, <laughs> here's uh, Kelly's favourite. Now, the problem with bagged salad is like yeah, yeah. they obviously use chloride to put in the air there and wash it in. So the chemical content, yes the nutrients are there, but the chemical content is quite high and it's much cheaper to buy your fresh lettuce, wash it yourself and obviously prepare it yourself, which lasts longer too. Right, now what I want to point out here is how the ready meal aisle over there is packed and the fresh meat aisle down here is almost empty. Okay, so it's all about cost. And it's all about nutrition, guys. All these things are obviously not prepared. You're going to have to do some preparation, but they're certainly cheaper. Um, the organic brands stick out a little bit here in Asda. Um, let's zoom in on something like this chicken, okay, which is obviously the smart brand, which obviously has the chemicals in. Cost-wise, against our organic chicken, you're probably talking two or three times. Okay, let's have a look at the exact chickens. Can we find an organic chicken here? Free range okay, free range chicken down there. How much is that? It's uh, four, four. No, 683. Right, six pounds 83 for an organic chicken. Okay, <laughs> with a right, two pounds 94. Right, this is the way that we think chicken should look, but actually, the anemic <laughs> is it anemic or the jaundice chicken? Okay, the jaundice chicken is actually so much better, and I promise you it will taste better. The problem is, it's over double the price. Okay, so you're talking almost seven pounds for the free-range chicken. It's not even organic. So again, when it comes to meat, this is where you need to be looking at buying the cheaper cuts. So if you go back over there at the chicken thighs and the chicken drumsticks, this is where obviously you can buy organic and buy free-range at a better price. Okay, now here we come to the 
mint aisle. Okay, by far the cheapest you can buy. Also, when you're talking beef, this is also the cheapest and the best meat content. Now, well, the first thing you'll notice, I'm going to go for the cheapest one, which is this one pound Irish beef mince. The main thing that you need to stay away from is the word lean. So up here, you can see even the organic one is lean, and that's three pounds sixty-nine. But one pound, this is by far the best buy. Now, yes, everyone will go for lean, and you can see the extra lean meat here, the same quantity, but two ninety-nine. So three times the price, even though they're taking away the goodness, which is the fat. So just bear that in mind when you are buying mints. Obviously, there are alternatives, things like this, which you can see is the smart price. And if you look at the price there, it's only three pence cheaper, um, and it's exactly the same thing but obviously it's a lower quality so bear in mind that the basic store Irish beef mint for a pound is great right now the girls are scuttling off because they don't like liver I need to <laughs> I mean, doesn't like it. Okay, we're talking liver over here. Now, chicken's liver is the least flavour, sir. Um, obviously, this area, you do need to be buying organic, and most supermarkets do not sell organic. So this is where, really, you need to go and find a farm shop. Now, with regards to bacon, again, it's natural fat. Obviously, the organic version is best. Things with organic, especially look for back bacon rather than, sorry, look for streaky bacon rather than back bacon, because back bacon can be quite expensive. That's £2.45 for the organic. Um, look at these extra trim ones, again, the same price, but you can see literally half the meat there. The worst on the market is by far the Weight Watchers variety. Almost zero fat there, so again, they're taking away the fat and then charging you more for it. Right, now we're here in the sausage aisle and we're actually looking for the most meat. So look at the ones on offer and they're 40%. Tesco value of 34% meat. We're finding 65 so far and I think we've got a 65. Oh, right, now Trace has found a 72% and these are beef sausages. You can also get chicken sausages as well. So again, it's all about how much meat's in the sausage rather than the price. Okay, obviously it's cheaper to buy wheat and fill it full of other things apart from meat. So Richmond sausages, which are the most popular, are also only 40% meat. I repeat, 40% meat. So do take care. Normally the own brand, something like Tracy Fine, Crumberland. How much are Crumberland, Tracy? Uh, two for three pounds. How much meat is in them? 65%. 65%. So your supermarket brand Cumberland sausages are great. And then Wall sausages, they're 65% opposed to the Richmond, which are only 40%. Right, we've just found an 80%. How much are they? Okay, so they're Parkinson's English sage and onion sausages for 80% pure meat. Right, now as far as burgers goes, exactly the same rule as sausages, so you need to be careful with the meat content. The best way to make, obviously, them is to buy your own mints, add a little bit of egg and make your own burgers that way. Now with regards to cooked meat, obviously it's all ready made and the how it can cook and how it's being stored is quite chemically, quite toxic. So just bear in mind, obviously if you're going to work and things like that and you do need some prepared stuff, but where possible make it at home and obviously it's a lot more expensive here, £4 for this honey roast ham. Right, here we are down the yoghurt aisle, and what I want you to do, a little test for you at home, is to buy a Muller Light, so one of these Muller Light, and then buy a fruit corner. Now taste the difference between A, the sugar in them, so again, this is artificial sweetener in the Muller Light, against the sugar, which is the natural sugar, fruit sugar in the corners. Also, the quality of the fat in the yoghurt here. Yes, it will be lower in calories, but the fat content and actually how nice it tastes, the Muller Corner is much better. So yes, dairy isn't that good for us, but certainly go for the full fat variety. Here are the big bargains. And obviously the Activia, huge price difference in those and regular ones. So just bear in mind, look at the fat content and eat. Tracy has picked up the no, chocolate. Put it back down. <laughs> like, yeah, put it back down. Well done. <laughs> Right, in the Muller Light, there's just over 100 calories in the fruit corner, and there's about 180 calories. So again, not even that big difference, and you're getting obviously more yogurt in there as well, and obviously a much tastier item. Now, natural yogurt with fresh fruit is obviously much better for you, and we're just having a little comparison over here. You need to be really careful because a lot of them are fat-free. Even the organic ones, as you can see here, blueberry, but it's all fat-free. Even though that's a pound, good cost-wise, but you are better much better going for something which is full fat rather than organic. So the Asda Natural Greek Yogurt over here is 98p, that will be the best buy with some fresh fruit. Stay away 
from the low fat variety here.